Thank you for coming back to the channel. I'm so happy that you're here because today I'm going to give you some great information and what's going on. Once again, if you look at the, the screen, you, all you can see is red, red all the way down because we are in a red sea right now. And w whenever the market is red, everyone wonder why the market is red. Today, I'm going to tell you why the market is red so you can have some knowledge of what's going on and then be prepared. All right. So all you can see on my screen is Laib is the only one that is in green. And when we see one kind in green like that, we always click on it to see why. And this kind is just one big jump. I wouldn't worry about that. One jump doesn't mean anything much to me. But once again, I'm not telling you to go buy, sell or hold. I'm just going to show you what's going on. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you the reason why the market is so red, guys. Two things I'm going to tell you real quick. All right. So let's jump right into it. All right. So where we are now, let's go. All right. So pull up some information here for you guys. So one second. Here. All right. So, the first thing that I want you to understand, I want you to look at this carefully. Carefully, I want you to look at this here on my screen. This one is... Alright, so right here. Right where it says, U.S. inflation data for October drops on Thursday. That's the main reason why the market is so red. So if you if you look at it, remember I keep educating you guys about the feds when the feds speak. If you see right down here, they will tell you about the CPI right down here. They're waiting for the CPI data for October. So every time the feds make a move. The market crash, guys. The market go down. The rich people take out their money and they wait to see what the result is going to be. And then they decide to go back in. So I'm going to post this link. So you can, you can come here and read more about it. Because I don't want to make this video too long by reading everything and going over everything with you. I have another page that I want to show you real quick. So I'm going to post a link with this. Uh, uh, let me copy the link. I'm going to post a link for you guys. So you can come here and read more about it, all right? But this is the reason why. Now, let me show you some more information real quick. All right, let's go back here. All right, as you can see, the customer price index, which that's what CPI means, the customer price index. So if we go down, right down here, a little bit further down right here the customer price index is right here you can read about it I'm gonna post both link October inflation data will be released on November 10th 2022 at 8 30 a.m. Eastern Time the customer price index CPI measure the average change in the price of the basket so as you can see today the market may be red all throughout the day tomorrow we may wake up to a red market based on when what time you wake up and around in the evening part midday based on what the result is you will start see the market going back into green once again I'm not telling you to buy sell or hold I'm just showing you what going on what's going on so the tent is tomorrow so tomorrow when they release the data when the people comfortable they gonna start put that money into it once they put that money into it you're gonna see the market go back up so right now it's still in red it may go red until tomorrow it depends on what happened tomorrow the price may go down more or it can go back up so you have to stay tuned so you need to come and read do some research and see what happened follow up and the 8 30 tomorrow to see what happened if it's make the market better or if it make the market worse 
then you're going to decide if you're going to put your money back in or if you're going to take your money out or what you're going to do because that's when everybody's going to make their decision if they want to buy. You don't just buy you don't just buy random buy. You buy based on data. You buy based on what you know. Buy based on stats. Because um, a lot of coins, they don't move unless something is going on. They're not going to move, a matter of fact, unless something going on. In for instance, if I go back to um, one of my favorite coins right here. That I really like. And I think it's going to run. Where's the market? Uh, let's see. This coin, M Content. If you look at it right now, it's down to 14. This is a good buy for me. I would buy this right now because I know what's going on with the coin. So with this coin, if you scroll down and go to info right here. And uh, remember, this is BitMart. Once you go to info, you have to just click on their website right here. Once you click on the website, it's going to take you to a beautiful site that they make. And look at this. Look at this. This is how you know that. There is no way this coin is not going to go up to at least 20. At least 20. Right now it's at 14. I think it's going to go to at least 20, guys. All right? If not, it may go up to around 50. So, if you look on the website, all the website shows is Qatar, Qatar, World Cup stuff. Everything on this site is based on World Cup at this moment here. Because the World Cup is in Qatar this kind is a Asian kind this kind is coming from the Far East the Arabs and those are the one that pumping into this kind right here and that's where the World Cup is so you see the first thing on their website guys as you can see is the World Cup they're promoting so the World Cup is gonna boost this kind so once the World Cup get closer the coin is gonna go higher that's what I know for sure. So I will come back and show you what M content they do in the World Cup period. All right. And if they wait for a, a correction, it may be a little bit after the World Cup. But this kind is going to move because of the World Cup in Qatar. I'm telling you. Once again, um, if you learn anything from this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share the video. Comment. Let me know what you know. Let me know what you understand. Let me know what you want to know. All right. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.